Sean Outram retrieving his latest catch. Nice bit of fresh meat for you. Here's one we caught earlier. Just looking, dogs. It's just one of dozens the former miner has to deal with every day. You see people who's got reason to be up at two, three, four o'clock in the morning due to whatever businesses they do, and they report that the streets are alive with rats at that time. There's a wall behind there what runs the whole length of Willoughby Street, and it's about a 10-foot drop onto Wade Street, which is of it bike, and they use that like rat superhighway. Sean says the problem is litter left out on the streets. Despite Sheffield Council working to tackle the issue, the rats keep coming back. Now the bins round here are emptied almost daily, but by the end of the day they're full again and with them come the rats. Now it's a problem that Sean says has been going on for around five years and it's an escalating one. So much so that he now believes it's an issue for public health. The biggest concern is health issue. I mean I've got to be particularly careful regarding infection. I've had three new knees in two legs. My dad's had similar and he got an infection, although it was nothing to do with rats, and he's lost a leg, and I'm scared to death of that same thing happening to me. Sheffield Council say they're working with Yorkshire Water and contractors Amy to improve the situation in Page Hall, and are encouraging residents to dispose of waste responsibly. 80 fixed penalty notices have been issued since June. That were only refilled last week by council. It's empty now, they put two great big blocks in that. Set, figuring in that corner there, and if you have a look here, dogs has dug that trying to get at him. I'd like to see what we have had in the past. They call them bring out your rubbish days. Get the area clean for starters. Sean's determined to keep pressure upon the council to do more and stop the streets around him becoming a rat run. Martin Fisher, ITV News in Sheffield.